A while back, I did a video about the importance of picking the right kind of splitter for satellite TV. It's important to use a splitter that has a frequency like this for free satellite TV, five to 2,400 megahertz, or sometimes it's written as five to 2.4 gigahertz. And this is because satellite TV travels through coax cable at a much higher frequency range than over the air antenna television or cable TV. But these splitters are not exclusively made for satellite TV. They can also be used for over the air antenna television as well as cable TV. And I'll explain why now. Here's a splitter here that was designed for over the air antenna television and the operating range is 5 to 900 megahertz, which is the typical range for over the air antenna television. Although recently with all of the frequency spectrum reallocations around over the air TV and cell phone companies, the uh, actual bandwidth is even smaller now. So this splitter would work fine for antenna TV. Here's another splitter with a smaller bandwidth than the satellite ones I showed you. 5 to 1 gigahertz or 5 megahertz to 1000 megahertz and this is built for cable TV but can also be used for over-the-air antenna television but the two of these splitters here have a bandwidth that's too narrow for satellite TV but these satellite TV splitters given the fact they have such a wide bandwidth, can also be used for over-the-air television received with an antenna as well as digital cable. Let's look at a chart to compare all three of these uh, TV modes. Here's a little chart that I made in my notebook. Over-the-air antenna television typically travels through coax cable between this bandwidth here. This would have been higher before all of the uh, spectrum repacks, of course, but nowadays this is the typical frequency range for over-the-air antenna television. Cable TV, 5 to 1,000 megahertz. And satellite TV travels through coax cable between this frequency range, 950 to 2,000 megahertz. And you can see, because of the higher frequency bandwidth, that's why a different splitter is needed for satellite TV. But since the other two modes of TV, over-the-air antenna television and cable TV, fall within these uh, bandwidths of these splitters, these splitters can be used for any type of TV reception. And to prove that these splitters will work with over-the-air antenna television, I've connected them to a TV antenna in my backyard and then I've split the signal using each type of splitter to two different TVs and at the same time checked the reception and all of the channels are present on both TVs. And I tried this with each splitter separately and there were no reception problems at all. Typically these splitters are marketed towards satellite TV customers, but because of the wide bandwidth that they have, they are usable for over the air antenna television as well as cable TV. And the reason I'm making this video is because in Canada, these types of splitters are pretty widely available at big box stores and not so much with over-the-air antenna splitters or cable TV splitters. You usually find only these. So when people are shopping around for a splitter, they may not think that these splitters will work, but these will work for just about any type of television that you watch. So the important thing with splitters is to look at the bandwidth that they are capable of handling. So if this is all you can find in your local stores, then these will work just fine if you have a TV antenna.